Hello and welcome to Hamster Guitars. This video is part of a series of short films showcasing my build of a Rickenbacker 4003 bass. If you are interested in seeing more of these videos, think about subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Oh, right then. Here I am. Obviously at my desk, not in my workroom. But work has begun back on the hamster backer. Bev's given me a little hand because what we've done today is we've been doming the truss rod cover. The you know because I've I've had hamster back hammy backer printed out stuck onto my perspex um, and now we're going to cover that with acrylic um, and then that that bit will be done and then I'm back upstairs finally thankfully and basically finished with the uh, amplifier now that doing she's also going to be doing the um, covers the little label covers for the two speakers which finishes the amplifier I know I didn't I didn't film making speakers and all that because I realized that it basically it's just sawing which I've done before so I don't want to buy it just two boxes covers in a bit of leatherette well, three boxes, including the hamster cover with a bit of leather. In fact, I will show you. That, obviously, the, the head. And the two speakers. And, oh, the, uh, the practice guitar that I got for Bevy. Um, while I'm making the hamster backer. Now, Bevy is what's known as doming with the resin. She's covering the hamster sticker and it's going on to the wood. And what that will do, it will protect that sticker so it won't fade and it will protect the wood. And I will then drill through it. Well, actually, once it's all dried, I will sand the sides to make sure they're all nice and done, and then screw them straight onto the the amplifier. Then the amplifier will be absolutely totally finished. That's Amster to you. Amster, yeah. You can see. All clever stuff. I don't know how clever it is, but there you go. Now, what I've been doing. I need that protective stuff under here next time. Yeah, because you've got it all over. You've got it all over. Table. Table, aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what I've done here, I've fixed the hamster back here to the the truss rod cover with some super glue and a bit of tape hold in it square. And then when Bev's finished that one, she'll do on this one. Okay, let's look at that. Yeah, that's okay. Got a bit on the table, but I can get shut of that. Yeah. Now, there mm -hmm. it is. Like the you can thing. see it all glistening, so it's covered. I think she's done right well without doing a bit of chopping up there, look. I hear a yeti walking. It has walking. From what? Hibernation. Oh, 
it won't harm that. It'll just be a butt pain to clean off the table, but I don't want to be chinchy. Yeah. I'll learn and I'll get better. Of course you will. Here we have Bevy holding up the two, two of the three things that she made for me. So it's right chuffed with herself and I'm chuffed with her. I think they're both ace. So the next time you see these, the truss rod cover will be on the guitar and the hamster will be with its little mate on the two speakers. Say bye, Bevy. Be happy. <laughs> right, now it's back to old fart at the desk. So that's it. Um, amplifier finished. Back on to the guitar. Full on now. So it's on to from here. Finally on to the working on the neck. That will be coming up next. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. The next instalment will be along in a week or two. This is John Paul Burnett wishing you all a good day and signing off with my usual be happy. <laughs>